So the Toulon tournament, as it turns out, it was a tournament that we felt um, was falling at the wrong time for us because it made our World Cup preparation sort of too long and have the players away from home for too long before going to the World Cup. But uh, as it turns out, I think it was perfect. It was perfect because we had some injuries to deal with. Uh, we had some players that we had to make final decisions on and we used the tournament just for that. And, uh, and it worked out actually perfectly. So we, we feel like we're at a good point now after the Toulon tournament. Unfortunately, um, the one thing that I think is a little bit negative for us in the end was not winning our last game um, because that's a game where I think we, we put things together a little bit better than all the other games and a game that we carried and I, and I thought we deserved to be up by a couple goals and uh, unfortunately we couldn't get that done and you know when you look at a team that's part of the development too is learning how to win games and uh, so we're a little bit disappointed with the last game uh, but overall as, as we look at the tournament we got exactly what we wanted out of it. I think we are a deep team. I think this is a good group of very talented players and, uh, and players that, uh, that hopefully will, most of them will hopefully stick around U.S. soccer for a long time. Throughout the tournament, there were names that people are familiar with uh, who are mainstays on the team, and I think some of them did well. Um, I think overall, you know, if I had to say, probably Will Trapp was our most consistent player in the tournament, and he has been playing well for a while now. Uh, so we're very happy with the way uh, Will's coming along. Uh, but I think there's been, there was two finds in this tournament in particular. One, because we just didn't know it all, which is uh, Alonso Hernandez. Uh, that was a great find for us. Uh, and then the other one that we've known really well and in U.S. soccer is someone who has worn the crest for a long period of time, which is Kellen Acosta. Even though he's a younger player, I think he proved to us that he can really help us. Uh, so I think those two players are really, um, uh, besides Will, those two players are the biggest surprises. This has been certainly a difficult process because we've rebuilt a team. It's not like we were uh, passed on a team from U18 that just came onto here. We started from scratch. Uh, we looked at, I think, 79 players through our process uh, to come up with our final 21. Uh, so it, it, it definitely wasn't easy. There was, there was tournaments where we couldn't, you know, I think every tournament we played over the last year and a half, uh, there were players who did not get released. Um, that at the same time helped us because it forced us to look at new players. And so we ended up with a pool of roughly 80 players that we we got to see and the list of 35 players is really important to us and that's why I addressed that with the group um, you know we according to the rules we can we can change players who get injured uh, up to 24 hours before the World Cup begins uh, so it's very important that all the players on the 35 man list uh, that was submitted to FIFA a couple weeks ago it's very important for all of them to stay fit and to be prepared to get a call so we've already spoken with some players who are not uh, going with us to Portugal uh, players who are not on the 21 uh, and we've made them aware of the fact that we they may get a last-minute call and and uh, and I think they'll be prepared because I think the players were excited to be part of this group.